Yo, what's up, fam? How you been? How you doing? We're checking out hip hop news, man. Uh, Lil Wayne just performed, and people are thinking he's dissing Kendrick Lamar. And yeah, man. Hopefully, he'll carve out it here. Why Drake just said he is giving up on rap? Yeah, he wore a T-shirt saying rap is a joke, but I think he's gonna cover most of it. So check it. Now with it another out. week going by, where Kendrick Lamar's "Not Like Us" has only broke more records as it's reclaimed its spot as the number one song in the world on the Billboard Hot 100. Hold on, let me see. A boss on Damn, "Not Like Us." I had some help. Million Dollar Baby. I don't know most of them. Hosaya, see. And also became the fastest rap song to ever surpass 500 million streams on Spotify. Drake is. Hold up. Kendrick Lamar's Not Like Us becomes the first rap song ever to reach 500 million streams on Spotify. 70 days. Drake's fastest Drake's rap song to ever surpass 500 plan. million streams on Spotify. Drake has continued to stay on the hot seat as the anthem of the summer continues to dominate the world and beyond is the ever-looming presence of Kendrick Lamar and his dominance in this moment in time. I'm Drake's direct end of things. He is continuing to spiral out further and further, and while with the recent release of songs, features, and public appearances alike that have all left most people with the same impression, which is that Drake seriously needs to take 10 steps back and completely rethink the direction he is disastrously steering his career into. And despite this failure, making things as once valuable as the Drake stimulus package no longer being of any value as the once most coveted thing in the entire music industry in the Drake feature can't even get decently popular and established names in the music industry anywhere on the charts. Although all signs are indicating that whatever Drake's doing is not working out whatsoever. From what we have seen, it only looks like Drake is going to be leaning into these strategies even further, as he is trying to find more obnoxious ways to shift the narrative around him, which when we look at just how he is trying to shift the tides of his career, it'll make you wonder where he is trying to make any of this go. And when we really start to see what this latest part of his plan that is currently unfolding is, it'll make you question not just what Drake... Hey, I also hear that like, he has music on the way. Uh, I think... It's gonna be Kendrick Lamar Jesus or something like that. I heard like he has some music on the way. So maybe this Friday. Drake is gonna be trying to lift up from his sleeve next. But how consequential the effects could be if what he is teasing does not deliver to these expectations that he himself is trying to build up so high and high. So when it comes to these expectations that Drake seems to be setting. They took the cultural conversation over the other night, went on what seems to be his favorite way of communicating in this post-beef era of his career, which is, of course, Instagram. Drake made a cryptic post that said in the caption, the pressure from being on top does more than just make your ears pop. And here's the t-shirt. Rep is a joke. More than just make your ears pop. Which is once again showing Drake with this sense of achievement that nobody else besides him and his circle seem to recognize as he is acting like he is this untouched artist when we all just know from what we have seen very recently that he is not and he's actually way closer to being the laughing stock of the music industry right now than he is to being on top. But beyond just this, what makes this post even worth talking about beyond just scrolling and laughing is not this caption or the timing of it, but instead is the actual picture Drake posted, which features him repping a shirt that says, Rap is a joke. And now initially, the reaction to this on social media was that Drake is now turning his back on hip-hop as a whole, and because of the beef, he is going to be a sore loser and act like rap does not matter to him anymore. Which, while I definitely think it was part of Drake's intentions to throw people off with this shirt and make them think this to once again stir up this frantic sort of buzz about how he is moving after this beef, and of course, to just put his name back into the conversation. This shirt actually has a much deeper meaning, and I think it's hinting at the fact that despite what seems like Drake's career getting so messy to the point that he will never recover, mm. he is on some level aware of this, and is trying to do something to change it. But the question really is, is doing something like this even close enough to help yourself? And with this shirt... What it is, is a piece of merchandise from L Money and Frank Stack's group, which is called Rap is a Joke. And with these two names, what is interesting about them is that these two are battle rappers who border on being parodies of the genre in of itself with how comedic their lyrics are and with how they mock the general music industry. And these aren't just any battle rappers, but they're also from California as well. Oh, Drake... that's really interesting. I didn't know that, man. I really didn't know that. 
genre in of itself with how comedic their lyrics are and with how they mock the general music industry and these aren't just any battle rappers but they're also from california as well oh. and with drake leaning into this often overlooked scene of the hip-hop world in damn this is deeper than i actually thought it was man i didn't know this like real real rappers from california man. i thought this was just like that was just like a max nice man that you just pretty like taking shows or something like that man often overlooked scene of the hip-hop world in general it seems like in his typical petty way he is trying to once again begin to escalate tensions with kendrick on some level and in the greater sense the entire west coast who is backing him by aligning with artists that do not get the attention that so much of the rest of the rap world does but even if this is a smart move in a vacuum and if Drake was going to try to rip the rug under and take over California's battle rap scene, as a tactical move, it actually could be pretty clever. At the end of the day, is debuting this move by wearing a shirt on Instagram the right way to go about it? <laughs> Maybe if you were in some general internet drama, it could be. But as a major rapper in a space where everything of note should be settled with a pen, and with your skills as an artist, this is just another move from Drake that as it's... Do you think Drake... Ah. Can battle rap? Do you think he can rap, 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 rap? On his feet, man. Like, damn, man. Going bar for bar with someone, man. Like, damn, man. I don't know, man. I, I wanna see that, man. I want, I want to see that, man. Stands in the moment. They will Makes it look like his social media man. posts are better thought out and curated than any of the actual diss tracks and music as a whole that he has released recently. As with there being more layers to dissect here than on a track like The Hard Part 6, for example, it's just a horrible look. There is no other way around it. And now beyond just this post, which if anything is indicating that Drake is the most calculated IG post maker in hip hop, I guess, another thing Drake has seemed to do is once again use one of his biggest cheerleaders in DJ Academics as a puppet. As After Act finally came out and criticized Drake, as he shockingly proclaimed that the Drake feature is no longer a valuable thing in the music industry. He came right back out not too long after, and was already beginning another trail of hyping up new music from Drake and saying that what he is about to come next. Hold on, all you need is be acting like Drake finished, bookmark this tweet for six months from now. You don't want you, there's no way in New Year's. Remember that. In years, and you're all the other noise and bullshit. Drake knew all music on the way and it's fire. Trust. Yeah, I saw this. I saw this. I saw this, man. I saw the, the new music thing. Okay. Yeah. will be groundbreaking which based on just the timing of this and what we know in terms of drake being in constant communication with act just seems a little strange and really feels like act was told by drake to start saying positive things about his music again so he can push the agenda that no matter what has happened we should all be on board for what drake is about to do next as it is going to be special and i think in this moment with this being the road that we're on through cryptic social media posts and the agenda pushing of the easily deceivable major players in hip-hop media, Drake is trying to take all of this and allude to this major moment that he is going to try to be coming soon with. But the problem is right now, <laughs> it's not that Drake could have necessarily produce a piece of music that can change everything and elevate his career into a place where he is once again invited back into any sort of serious conversations on some level. Damn, That's the constant guest damn, that invited to music that can change everything and elevate his career into a place where he is once again invited back into any sort of serious conversations on some level. But it's Damn. constant gaslighting and manipulation that has led most people into rightfully thinking that despite him trying to get the hip-hop world moving for his next big moment, he will just not actually deliver something that will be able to even come close to the bar of quality that he needs to reach with the stakes being this high, because this has been the Damn. game all along for Drake. I mean, during this entire beef, Drake used social media and the attempted control of hip-hop media. Really? During this entire beef, Drake used social media... Drake doesn't think Kendrick Lamar has anything to do with me is they... I have nothing to draw bottom. Social media and the attempted control of hip hop media. To do the work that his music could not on its own and try to hype everything he was doing up as these moments that are so much bigger than any sort of expectations could ever live up to. And we especially saw this with a track like Family Matters, as everyone was waiting for Drake to deliver the red button that he kept teasing. And aside from the song not being anywhere near as career ending as he hyped it up to be, otherwise the beef would have been over right then and there. It was of course then stopped by on a track in Meet the Grams that had no marketing or expectations and relied on the pure art of surprise and then the actual merit of its musical quality to back up the Damn. buzz it generated and as a result of this organic way to promote the music. 
It ended up changing the tides of this feud in a way that Drake was never going to come back from, and that's the difference when it comes to where these two artists are at. Drake is using these cheap ploys and gimmicky tactics as a way to supplement for the lack of genuine quality in his music, and when these songs keep releasing, now they're all flopping because they are not just bad songs, but they are tracks that come with this perception now of having to be something greater than they ever could even aspire to be. And as Dang. people have realized this and opened their eyes up to this because of the beef, it has now really damaged the Drake brand, and while he may be thinking that he is accomplishing something by still making these posts that we almost have to decipher, when we spend more time reading into Instagram posts than we are reading into the actual music itself, at this point, unless Drake comes with some of his best material ever, it will simply never reach this goal, and he will only see more failure. And while I want to say that if Drake releases another song like anything he has this summer, it may just really be the end of this guy, I'm going to hold out some optimism and say that maybe I will be wrong, because if one good thing for Drake has happened recently, it is that during a recent performance at a club, none other than Lil Wayne finally revealed who oh, side yeah, he is truly yeah. on in his beef. Finally he spoke about him. Finally he spoke about him. performance at a club, none other than Lil Wayne finally revealed who side he is truly on in his beef. But during his performance of the motto, he was chanting, they don't like us, they don't like us, while flaunting his OVO chain. And despite Wayne having respect for Kendrick in the past, we can now see that he is riding with Team Drake, which really should have never been a surprise considering yeah. how close these two have been since the start of Drake's career, despite what Kendrick said about their relationship on Not Like Us. But now that we know that Drake still does have one of the best rappers on the planet in his corner, who knows? Maybe if Drake locked in with Wayne, it could lead him onto some sort of road to redemption, but at the same time, as Drake seems to be teasing more upcoming music, that sounds a lot more like Honestly Nevermind too. I don't think that this is actually going to happen. So with all that said, let me know. What do you think about what Drake is trying to pull off right now? And where do you think his career is going to go next as he is still trying to save his image? I can't wait to hear what you have to say. And if you want to see how Eminem just picked a side in the Kendrick and Drake beef as well, check out the suggested video. Uh, I don't know. I feel like right now it's still too early to tell about the Drake thing, his career and everything like that. <clears throat> what I'm actually curious about is do y'all think Lil Wayne can this? Do you think he can like go may like do you think he's a battle rap material man? And don't forget Exodus man. Exodus twenty three one man. Don't forget Exodus twenty three one man. If you know you know. <laughs>